All right, I'm going to show you how to make a CD using kunaki.com. Go to kunaki.com, create an account for yourself. I'm going to log in. I've already got an account. I want to make a new product. So I'm going to say down here, create and submit a new product. First, I want to create some graphics. Go to this design software for a CD project, which is here. And I'm going to pick some artwork for the label, some for the front cover. They have some default things in here. Let's start with the inside of the, on the disk itself. So I'm going to look for a file. It's going to be my CD disk. All right, and then the title. Let's call it MUST-121. And the subtitle, how about spring? 2017. And the copyright, I'm going to say it's Middletown Records. You might want to start your own imprint. You can change the color for all these things depending on what you think the contrast is. Um, this is this banner thing here. I can change the background of that, size of it. Uh, if you want to change the color, then come back over here. I could pick the color in here. And then for the color of the text, the same thing. You can choose whatever color you want for this background here. And for the color of the print. And for this one here, and I'll leave the copyright in white. All right, now I'm going to save that picture. This is a, a little utility in Kunaki that prepares graphics that will fit. If you want to use Photoshop or something more powerful, you're welcome to do that. This will do the job. It's the most efficient way to do it. There are templates on their website. They give you the, the dimensions if you want to get fancy. But uh, I'm going to download this picture so that I can upload it later to their uh, tool to create the disk. So this is what my graphic's looking like. And I'm going to save this now. So I'm going to control click on this picture or right click if you have a PC, say save image as. And I'm going to create a folder Put it on the desktop for now. I'm not sure where you want to put it. I'll create a new folder for my um, final CD project. And in that, I'm going to call that the label. That's what's going to go on the CD. So I'm going to come back and use that later. I go back and I'm going to design the front cover. So I look, okay, where's my picture? And I'm going to use the same title up here. I'm going to use the same subtitle. Use the same copyright. And I think I'll leave the copyright off the front. And lower this down. Okay, so that's going to be my front cover. And do the same thing. I'm going to download that picture and save it as a file so I can upload the file that has the perfect dimensions later. So control or right click on this, save image as. Still in that same folder. I'm going to call it front cover. This is the inside of the front cover. This is going to be an insert card that's going to be put in the front of the CD. So this is the front of it. This is going to be the back of that. What picture can I use for that? Oh, let's use that. And these are going to be the titles of the piece. I've decided on the back of that insert that goes into the CD, I'm going to list my pieces. So I'll call this MUST-121, but I'm going to call it over here, Song Title 1. I'm 
text and so on. You can change the font size. You can change the kind of font. Mess around with that if you want. All right, so I'm gonna save that now. Control click on this. This is the, the back of the cover. And now I need to do the back of the CD. So choose file. Use that one. Now these are going to be these little things along the spine. Okay, this turns this the text sideways. I think I'll put this in white this time. And there's some text in here. And I'm going to move that down. Okay, you get the idea. You can move this around. Anyway, same thing. Going to save that. It's called the tray card, the thing that goes in the back. So save image as tray card. Very good. So now I've got all my images. And this is kind of a neat thing. I didn't show you this. Uh, you can refer to this, open it up in a new window. This tells you all the different fonts they have available. That'll save you a little time. Okay, now I need to go create a new, pr a new product. I'm going to make an audio CD, and I'm going to upload the audio files and artwork. So the this is the front cover. It's transparent because nothing's there yet. So front cover, the back of the front cover here. This is the what's going to be on the CD. I called that the label. And this is the back insert. And you see the little spines there. Here's, I've decided I've got song one, song two, song three. You'd put the actual song titles in there, I think, but it'll be up to you what material you want to put on. Let's just put three audio files in here, and they should be WAV or AIFFs. You want to use your highest quality audio here, not MP3s. And it's called Chameleon. And I choose the file. I can upload it now to Kanaki. While it's working on that, I can get my audio for my second project, my second song. Take one of Chase's freestyling chords. And again, you'd probably actually put the song titles there. Choose the file. And for my third song, let's see, I'll put Chase's, so I've got that one. How about uh, James? It's called Last Request. And uh, I'm going to upload the second song, I'm going to put the third song. And so now I'm going to fill in the title. What shall we call, say? Middletown music.org slash Middletown Records performed by students in MST 121, etc. You can't submit the product till all your audio files are uploaded and your assets are in there. And I'm going to check this because I want to make it look fancy and have a barcode. Now, if you're going to use a barcode, you want to leave some space for yourself on your back cover because it's going to show up right about here. You don't see it until the product's finished, but leave a space for yourself there. If you mess up, you can always go back and create a new pro product. You've also got to upload each file that you've chosen. Uh, 
Those are small. The audio files take a lot longer. Graphic files are tiny. Okay, submit the product. And it takes a little while for it to go through their system. It'll stay in the system for six months. If you don't order a copy within six months, it will drop out of the system and you'll have to redo it. So you might want to keep your files around if this is something you want to do with your music for real and keep it on there. All right, so I'm going to go back into my account and I'm going to configure it so that it's available to the public. So I log back in. Come down here and I look for my products. I see and I've got one now called MUST121. I'm going to configure it. If it's your first time you've ever used Kanaki, they'll send you out a free free one. So take advantage of that. Okay, I'm going to set my price. And I'm going to enable the service. The main thing is you got to enable any of these that you want or it won't really be available. And the retail price, this people want to download it as a digital download. Let's call that $2. And if you want to collect payments, you can set up a PayPal account. Different service. And it seems like I'm leaving out one here. Here's the, they'll send you a check. And I'm going to add this to the gallery and say apply. Got to click on that apply button to make the encoding happen for the mp3s. And, and, got to enable the service. Got to hit apply on all these. All right. Add a link to your Kanaki sales page. This is the thing you want to put on your portfolio or publish it, however, put it out on your Facebook page. I'm going to make a little file here. Buy your copy here. the call to action. And the link to that is going to be that thing I just copied. Let's see if it worked. Wow, and look at they collect all the money for you. They'll mail it out. You can rotate the case. Sweet. I do have a few others that I've already cooked up. It's the actual one I did for class. There's the barcode. Here's with the real songs. I also put a link to a website so they can find out more about it. Tinyurl.com allows you to have a long URL, say for your portfolio page on Google. It's a long URL that nobody wants to look at. You know, you don't want to print this whole thing out. Uh, the back of your um, cover, it's too long to type, so you go, you copy this, and you go to tinyurl.com, and you say, if somebody clicks on this long thing, I want my tiny URL to be greatest computer music something short and easy to type. Make the tiny URL. And so now, I've, if nobody's used that before, this will now go to that long, to my um, Google Drive document. So that's what I put, this little tiny URL. That's what I put on here. So that's one way you can do it. And that way you can have pictures and graphics and analyses and screenshots and all sorts of program notes and things that wouldn't fit in here. Let's see if we've got any other examples. So these are some others that I've made. I've got a couple of computer music discs. This is some songs from the songwriting class.
Here's a, a link to a student's CD from her portfolio page. It's her music from recitals and such. Help me not to be confused as well. So this is that new one I made, and I don't want to keep that, so I'm going to delete it and make a new one. Okay. So that's it. That's how you make a CD with Kunaki.com. You can set the price. It's about $1.75 a copy. You can anything. That's what your cost from making it with them is. If you make it for three seventy-five, then you'll get two dollars for each copy sold, and then they take care of the shipping for you. They make the copy, they shrink wrap it, they mail it out, they take the orders, they take the credit cards, and all. Just remember that this falls out like Cinderella after six months. So you got to order one every six months, or just repeat the process. If you repeat the process, though, you're going to have to change the links uh, on your websites and all because those will change each time you make a new product it gives you a new URL for that page.